All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Friday, and it's time for the Friday Part 1 Molesburg panel. And uh, here he is, host of the Roger Hedgecock Syndicated Radio Show, nationally heard, of course, uh, Roger Hedgecock, and columnist for Breitbart.com, an American thinker, C. Edmund Wright. And um, uh, is, Edmund, give me the book again, because I, oh, uh, WTF. How Carl Rove and the Establishment Lost Again. There you go. Okay. Amen. I, I wanted to get the WTF part in there myself. All right, gentlemen, uh, let, let's start uh, something away from, I, I can't take it anymore with, uh, you know, Ferguson and the, the racist cops. We'll get to that. But um, Hillary Clinton said something, which I think uh, is very notable. Uh, and she said that we should empathize with our enemies. She was speaking at Georgetown University. Uh, I don't know what she get, 300 grand for that. And I uh, hope they gave her the right pillows and, you know, crackers. Uh, but anyway, uh, she said that um, we should, uh, we should uh, empathize and show respect for our enemies. She said that uh, she's, it, she, it's called smart power and that uh, we need to um, uh, show respect even for one's enemies trying to understand and insofar as psychologically possible empathize with their pers perspective and point of view. So let me pick an enemy, um, Roger. Al-Qaeda, <laughs> ISIS. Uh. We're supposed no. to try to understand why they cut off the heads of Christians? Is, is that what she's going to run on in 016? I think, uh, Steve, she has disqualified herself for the presidency. It's irrational, as uh, Colonel North said yesterday, it's irrational to suggest that her approach to foreign policy has worked. Look at how much the reset with Russia has worked out. Are you kidding? Putin is on a rampage because he views it as nothing but weakness. All throughout, as you mentioned, the Middle East, all of these radical Islamist groups are nothing but emboldened by the idea that we're going to try to empathize with them when their view is they ought to kill us because we're infidels and we're not following Allah's way. So there's, uh, it, it's kind of divorced from reality. Is this some kind of faculty lounge foreign policy? I, I, I got to tell you, Edmund, I mean, weigh in on what you said, but she keeps giving, and this is the ultimate, because if we get a presidential candidate who is not afraid to stand up and say what we are all three saying today, there's no, and, and really hammer it and hammer it, there's no way she could be the president of the United States. No, I, I, I've never thought she was going to be. I, I'm not even sure she's going to be the nominee. Uh, this is the second really big pile she stepped in in the last couple of weeks. Uh, we all remember the one where she was appearing with Elizabeth Warren, and I guess trying to be even more Cherokee than Warren, she felt the need to say that companies don't really create jobs. Well, that disqualifies her on domestic policy, and I think, as Roger said, this disqualifies her on foreign policy. This is faculty lounge liberal idiocy, and I think Hillary 16 is going nowhere. All right, let me, let me bring you guys another one, and this is something that really really is huge and of course by design by design obama has got the media talking about this whole you know uh, the, the staten island thing and nothing else is getting talked about but obama reportedly is weighing sanctions sanctions against israel for for building a, a you know apartment co uh, co um, dwellings in 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 jerusalem the capital of israel uh and at the same time of course that he's lessening and, and doing away with sanctions on the country, Iran, that has vowed to destroy Israel. I mean, how could you not think this guy has something personal against the state of Israel, Roger? I, I think he does, and I think it's become clearer as time goes on that Netanyahu's assessment here is correct, that this president is not a friend of Israel. I do think that Congress here, our new majority in, in January, has got to get busy writing laws that would prevent this president from doing that. Sanctions against Israel for building apartments for their people, by the way, not for <coughs> building atomic bombs, not for building weapons of mass destruction, no, for building apartments for their people in Jerusalem. It's, a, it's an outrage, and Congress has got to do something about it. Edmund? I think it's just more of Obama giving the middle finger to, to the voters here and to all of our friends abroad. Uh, you know, he's obviously... Uh, has, his allegiances have obviously been probably his entire life against Israel, uh, against a lot of what this country stands for. In fact, uh, the church he was uh, in for 20 years is, is not what I would call a real Christian church. Uh, you know, he's no friend of Israel. And again, just, just the middle finger to everybody again. 
All right, guys, stay where you are. The uh, panel returns with, uh, I guess we'll call it part two. How original. Uh, next up on Newsmax Television. Stay where you are.